Hi, and welcome back to Ultrasign and Robert. Yeah, uh, I'm going to talk about two artists that I know basically nothing about, and I just found out that this song existed like two days ago. Uh, uh, for starters, Olivia Rodrigo uh, is known to be one of the largest uh, pop stars at the moment, and her song Good For You was the most uh, streamed uh, single last year. Okay. And uh, I heard on Swedish national radio, of all places, uh, that uh, a hugely influenced uh, uh, pop singer from Sweden called Tuvalu was to make a cover uh, of that song. And uh, I haven't listened to Olivia Rodrigo or Tuvalu before, really, but I listened to the version of this song. Uh, the original is quite pop punkish, uh, you know, Blake, you Blink 182 okay, style. Yeah. But this is uh, through and through 80s symphony, whatever you want to call it. And I really like this version. Okay. Um, well, uh, do you know about this version, uh, Andreas? <clears throat> I have no idea. I I like uh, Tovelo, but uh, I she never had the songs for me. Yeah. But she always had the vibe and intention, but never the song. So yeah. very interesting. Okay. Uh, well, let's check it out and uh, let's check if this song fits. What do you call it? Passar, Hannah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay, well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's check it out, yeah. Yeah. Good for you, I guess you moved on really easily. You found a new girl and it only took a couple weeks. Remember when you said that you wanted to give me the world? For you, I guess that you've been working on yourself I guess the therapist that found you, yeah, she really helped Now you can be a better man for your brand new girl What good for you, you look happy and healthy Not me, if you ever care to ask Good for you, you're doing great out there without me Baby, God, I wish that I could do that
wow um i liked it a lot but i, I have no idea how how the um, original sound like um so it's hard to compare i like this version <laughs> either way <laughs> so i don't know if i want to listen if uh <laughs> if I'm on another version of it actually um yeah it's it was very nice and i i think um well i i can't so much about to Lou at all but i think i agree with andreas uh, what he said she always have a great voice and a great uh, appearance every time you see her but this like the songs never stuck to me it's no it's i don't usually like them uh it's mm. something like it's it's too much ordinary swedish pop over it uh, but this version i think um, was like made for her and her voice actually yeah this was great uh I don't want to hear the original uh, version of the song, but I think this should be two versions. <laughs> one uh, half tempo and one up tempo, because it, mm. it's a bit confusing when it's uh, both like this. Uh, but I really like it. Also, this is not the studio version sound wise. It's, a, it's kind of a mix between the TV show and, and studio version, I suppose. Mm, mm. So I'm I'm going to listen to this, the production, I mean, the studio version. Uh, but this was great. Also, I, I th always liked her voice, but it never had the right uh, song or production. Uh, but this I really liked. Uh, yeah. And she's she's great. I think that uh, this is the only version of her uh, cover uh, that exists exists uh, actually uh, because uh, oh, the Swedish radio station P3 usually invites artists to do like two or three songs in their studio and they film oh. it and put it up on YouTube. So this is the version that exists and uh, it's not available on any streaming or anything. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. Um, so, hmm. <laughs> yeah, but okay, the British version that exists, but I, I like it, but uh, I would like to hear a studio version, mm. I mean, a production mm. of, of this. I'm sure it exists, it might not just be released yet. Yeah, yeah, probably. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay, cool. Yeah, okay, thank you, Robert, and okay. bye.